and we return to more Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Now we start Chapter 2. Who am I? Why was I killed? The one who is sure to know the answers to those questions is the man who ordered my murder. At the other end of the phone line is the very man who had killed me. Our meeting? It's all so sudden. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm really prepared for what's to come. Hmm, yes. What if I read in this file is true? This woman could be quite a bedeviling bit of trouble for us. She needs to be erased tonight. Confound that nearsighted Jekko. His skills are as feeble as his eyesight. I told me, sir. I have, I have already taken the next step, sir. He's got the mighty chin of justice. Yeah, I know, right? Wait, not even the chin of justice. You know what, if he had a mighty chin like that, you're either super good or evil. Yeah. Good lord. That ant, he just slaps things to make it work. It's crazy. Mm, yes. But I say, the last thing I ever expected was to talk to the target herself. Even if it was only over the telephone. I must admit, my good man, it puts me in quite the tizzy there for a moment. Yeah. What is this place? These oddly luxurious furnishings. This oddly refined music. And that odd little machine. I've never seen a room like this before. But one thing's for sure. These people are assassins. And what's more, that red-haired woman is another one of their targets. That file the old man has, maybe it'll give me some information on my redhead. Ah, new info. To the file, away. Mm, yes, how much longer, my good man? We are charging up our backup, backup power now, sir. The process should be completed in about 30 minutes, sir. Hmm, yes. But confound that Jekko, I say. Every year, his reliable range gets shorter and shorter. He'll get cold when his next pay envelope confound it. Why does it just glasses in his envelope instead, sir? Hmm, I wonder. So, what can we possess? Crap, I can't reach it! Dang it! Oh. We can examine the file. But, let me see. Oh wait, no. Nah, you can't really go anywhere with the comm. Yeah. But I can't reach up there. Can we still examine the file though? Yeah, let's try a trip. It seems the file contains information about my redhead. But I can't read it when it's closed. Are you serious? Great Scott, did you see that? The file, I say. The file reared up and snapped at me, my good man. Nearly bit my head off. Ah, that's not what I'm talking about, man. Hmm, Lynn. Uh, so that's your name. Does she come from the Sake Plains? Does she, I wonder. Does she wield the Manicotti? But Lynn has blue hair. What? Wait, not blue. Green and hair. She could just dyed it. Yeah, she could have. It's like it's written in foreign language. I can't read it at all. Why am I suggest putting away the file? Where's the in relax it, sir? Let's 
Pepsi. Good luck. Just slaps it every time. Do what? Crazy. Does no sense. You have a very important job ahead of you tonight, sir. Dot bubble. Darn. This is a pickle. The phone and I got put away neatly. The only thing I've learned is the name Lynn. This sure is a weird room. I traveled through the phone line to get here. But where exactly is here? And who exactly are these people? Apparently everyone evil in this game is blue. Well that makes sense. I remember. Ooh. Let's pop the let's see if we can trick on this projector. Yeah. You got it, man. Are you trying to give me a case of the vapors? My apologies, sir. My apologies, sir. I did not touch it, sir. Just did whatever I wanted. It appears the equipment is not, still not functioning, sir. Ah, granted, technology certainly is a convenient thing. But our use of it is just plain off confounded. Hmm, yes. In any case. I don't wish to see the face of our current target, my good man. I see which I see wish, sir. In that case, might I suggest this, sir? Hey, that's me! <laughs> yes, Cecil. Well, if all goes well with our deal tonight, we will have the power to change the world, sir. Hmm, yes. A very important night indeed, my good man. We can't afford to make mistakes. And that's why we can't afford to trust Cecil. No, we must be very careful. What, was I working with them? Uh-uh. Cecil. That must be my name. Now that I hear it, it does sound familiar. A deal, uh, What could that be all about? Just what exactly was I up to, I wonder? Smack. I wonder if there's a data file for me. You're completely prepared for tonight, sir. It's grapes. Hmm, yes, now all we have to do is pluck out the fruit of success. Ah. One thing's clear, these villains seem to know me. And another thing, there seems to be connection between me and this Lynn. Could I be the one and only Jay? No. Nah, no one can no one could be as cool as a tactician man. Come on. Can't we reach up there? Alright then. I wonder. Are we supposed to go back to the file? No, we're not. No, we can't reach there either. Can we still operate oh. on this? Play a trick on him? Yeah. Take that old man. Where's your head, man? I told you I don't wish to see this face! My apologies, sir. It appears to be another malfunction, sir. We'll get it fixed, man. Unless you don't want to see me malfunction. Sir, sir. Smack. I not figured it out yet. These guys murdered me, and now they're targeting the redhead. What kind of connection do we have to each other? Wait, so... Oh, oh. Spinning this painting around makes the old man's head spin, but that's about it. I've got to find the right timing and get behind beyond this projector. What I need 
tonight is a way to flip the situation around. Wow. Alright then. So they're obviously saying that we need to flip the projector. So the right timing, obviously. So let's try a trick. Obviously. Ah, there we go. We're in the pain. Where is your headband? And blah. 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 Smack. Smack. Now we're in the painting. These guys are in blouses with the blah blah blah. I say, this room is giving me the heebie jeebies, my good man. What with this painting spinning around and the uh, like. It's enough to give the man the jitters. Apologies, sir. The room just completed. I'll be right back. That's right. I wonder if I get there, what can I do here? Let's we'll flip that one thing. Ah. Okay. It's a miserable state of affairs when I can even be startled by a telephone that doesn't even ring. Gad. That does. It's even more pathetic to be startled by the same telephone twice. The problem must be solved, sir. The missile problem, sir. Uh, yeah, sure. What? Lynn? Hmm, yes. You did mention taking the next step a moment ago, didn't you, my good man? Yes, sir. I sent one step ahead Tango to our apartment, sir. <laughs> A telephone call was you him reporting in, sir. One step ahead, Tango. Yeah, I thought Very that good. Was Very good. Yeah, that name is legit. Lynn is in danger again. Better go check out that phone. Uh, okay, okay I got it. Ahead, Tango. I'm at the target apartment right now. Are you taking care of it? Okay, then. Sure, why not? I'm out with it, man. Are you taking care of her? No, she isn't back yet. What? It only stands to reason. If Target got here first, they wouldn't come one step ahead now, would they? That was an idiot. <laughs> I don't get it, but in any case, man, once you've taken care of her, then you'll promote me to head to the head hitman division, right? Ah, no, man. Now you're even getting one step ahead of me. We can discuss my new salary later. Great Scott, they're even getting one step of your last one step ahead. I'll get back to my job now, sir. Confounded, now you've been hanging up one step ahead. What? I was what? talking to someone. Oh. What did he say, sir? He asked me to raise his salary. What will you do, sir? Maybe I'll give him some of nearsighted Jekko's pay. Lynn. I can't lose her. She's my only lead if I hope to solve the mystery of me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Trip in the phone to Lynn's apartment. Let's go there. Yeah. Oh, so he's legit. He actually has the sniper. The telephone line guided me to Lynn's apartment. Fortunately, Lid isn't here yet, but unfortunately the Hitman is. There are a couple of other unfortunate little developments waiting for me, it seems. Yeah, there's a dead dog there. 
and my cheese tied up. Hmm. It looks like there's an unlucky little lady here tonight. Yo, she's jamming though. And an even unluckier little doggy. Poor brave little warrior. He must have been trying to defend his mistress. If Lynn came home now, shoot. I have to do something about this situation, and fast. So it seems like what we gotta do is go into the dead dog and change time. Huh? Uh, Where am I? Uh, uh, you wanted to ask that. And more to the point, who am I? Yeah. Who am I? Uh, are you talking to me? Of course. Do you see anyone else around here? If I remember, the dead don't have voices. Their thoughts reach out to the other person directly. I guess that explains why this dog is talking to me right now. This is your mistress's apartment, and you are... Presumably the little doggy who died here. Died? So I'm dead, huh? Let's see, the dead lose their memories. They even forget what they look like. And so that's what this blue flame shape is all about. Oh. There's no time to lose. <laughs> Miss Camellia. My Camellia is in trouble. What? You mean you remember? You know who you are? Already? I'm Missile. Nice to meet you. I'm a Pomeranian. Well, freaking lucky bastard. I guess now I know it's possible for the dead to regain their memories. Hey, I told, I told you that earlier. I told you that earlier. Shut up, Ray. You're not here right now. <laughs> Thanks to this little doggy. This Camellia, this Camellia! My Viscavelia is in trouble, and I vow to devote my every life to protecting her. But I died before I could rescue her. How could I let her down like this? So you're more worried about your mistress's safety than your own death, huh? I like your moxie, little doggy. Looks like it's time to go back four minutes before this little guy's death. Time to save his life. New info. Time so, to time let's travel. rewind time. Seven thirty-three p.m. Let's see. First of all, I better see what I can find out about your death, little guy. Excuse me, but where exactly are we? Huh? You followed me? I followed you. You brought me over with you. One or the other. Hmm, it looks like the dead can move around together. This is the land of our four minutes before your death. Really? We're really here? So this means you're going to save this chameleon, doesn't it? Aren't you even surprised? I mean, we just traveled through time and not especially. I mean, Miss Camellia can walk around on two legs, but I can't do that. So she can do that. But it's not so strange that you can walk backwards through time. So that's the way your mind works, eh? I guess that's reasonable enough. Wow. Okay, first we watch your last four minutes unfold. Then we use what we learn to save Camellia. Just like when we save Lynn at the junkyard. If we watch closely, we ought to be able to get a few leads. Keep your eyes open. Of course. Leave it to me to sniff out a few clues. Yeah. So let's begin. Uh, do you want me to do the voice for 
Oh yeah, and there's also that lady over there. What the alright then I'll take care of uh weirdo. Shut that mod up. No, missile, you're not supposed to bark. The lady next door is crappier than ever tonight. If it barks again, I will knock this wall down with my bosom. You don't want her to knock the wall. You don't want her to knock the floor down, do you, boy? Ugh. Why do you like to bark so much anyway? You're so cute, but just don't get us killed, okay? It's like you're a dog or something. Darn, I really wanted to watch TV too. Hey, I know I listen to music. So that's how she was busting out of the jams, man. I know them headphones. I mean, look at them. They're like surround sound. Oops, oops. Freaking good lord. Ooh, that was close. You know, there's noise like cancelers. Jesus. I'm in the mood for donuts tonight. It looked more like... That was a weird ass donut. That looks like uh, onion rings. I know, right? Oh, there... Oh, mouse. Dogs don't chase mouses, what the heck? Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. She's gonna knock down the wall with her bosom. Uh oh. I'll knock this wall down! Can't hear nobody. Uh oh. That's not good. Uh oh. One step ahead, uh, Tango. I don't really like it. Like it when jobs outside the original scope crap up. I have to put it down as a strange separate charge, and the county never likes that. But I guess it can't be helped. Sorry, kid. How? Uh oh. So that's how we got it. So that's the story, that's the whole dramatic story of what happened four minutes before you died. Wow, look at that, I'm dead. I'm kind of shocked to tell the truth. Okay, let's get started on saving her. But let's see, how are we going to do this? It seems the easiest way would be for me to take a bite out of that man's leg. Oh, I don't think I could do that. Whenever someone I don't know comes around, all I want to say to them is, Welcome! I can't help it! Okay then, the only thing we can do is to get the little lady to help herself somehow. I don't think she could do that. I mean, she's listening to them jams over there. Did you notice her putting those red things on her head? Red things? Oh, you mean the headphones? Whenever she puts those red things on, that's it. I can call her name until my throat is sore, but she never hears me. To be perfectly honest, I hate those red things. Hmm, you're right. With those headphones on, our little lady doesn't even hear the sound of the intruder's gun. So maybe that's our first lead. Now we have to do something about that. Gotta get rid of the headphones. Yep. It's trick time. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we should just leave it until she decides to get those red things. We're probably gonna, like, screw with that. I wonder what we're gonna do with this. The door? Turned on the thing. They need the bigger. Then what about the phone? Do we screw with that? That's funny. What's wrong? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the line glows red, but it's dark right now. Hmm? Looks like I can't use the telephone lines in the four minutes before death world. Okay. Yep. I don't really care. So we can use that as well to extend it. Oh, so close. You almost rock knocked those red things down. Hey, I think you're onto something there. 
if we drop them into the fish tank, Camellia won't be able to use them anymore. But if we drop them in the fish tank, Miss Camellia will get a scolding from Miss Lynn. All you have to do is pretend that it was uh, your fault. That's the way of the honorable warrior. Okay, but you've obviously never seen Miss Lynn when she gets angry. Okay. I'm to the hall. What? Let's turn my direction over here to... Can we try to knock down the wall again? I am not reading those lines, I already did that. Yeah. So let's see what else we can do. We really can't do anything until she comes over. I know. Well, so I can, really just a well, I can move this pass. without the thing. I don't even need it on my mouse. Wow! This is awesome. Yeah, I can do this without a mouse! Oh, wait, 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 really? It's cool. Yeah. But there's only one thing I can't press, like, uh, these. Oh, the speed poles, yeah. Yeah. And the, well, actually, can you move the screen, too, about it? Yeah, I can move the screen, watch. Ah. Nice. Yeah. That works. Oops, shoot! No! Dang it! Yeah, you might as well reset time now. Reset already, dang it. Guess I'd better rewind the clock again, see if I can pick up any other clues, yeah. Or just redo that one thing. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Right. Yippee, found the remote, blah blah blah. Let's just read that again. Do to do, do. The intruder will be entering the room in just a few and um, four short minutes, and my ghost tricks can only get me so far. If I want to save this little lady, I'm gonna have to get her cooperation. The first step is to get rid of anything that might be in the way. You don't Shoot, didn't need to do it. that. You didn't just let time keep passing by. I know. It's obvious that we used the um, umbrella to extend as soon as she um, grabs up the headphones. You don't have to click on it, you just let it go. Hurry up, Camellia! You're wasting my time! Gotcha. Shoot, did not mean to do that. Trick! No! 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 Speeding up time, speeding up time, yippee found the remote. Wait, are you doing that? Yes, I'm speeding it up. Oh, you can speed it up? That's awesome. Emulators, man. First things first, I wanna, um... You can probably get over that, over to the, uh, you know, actual umbrella first. Yeah. Okay, so, as soon as she grabs him... Gotcha! There you go. Oh no, darn! How did I manage to do that? Lynn just bought those headphones too. How about, we, how about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Alright, now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. 
Forgive me, Miss Camellia. I'm only doing it to save you. So what do you think? Now think of one of... Ah, oh, shoot. So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, eh? Huh? huh? No. Never mind that. The important thing is we managed to change the situation. That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. Yeah. Right, so now she's got nothing else that she's going to do. And she's in the mood for donuts tonight. The question is, what do we do now? Unless we do something more, the outcome will still be the same. Oh, if I only had big, strong teeth and aggressive spirit. Hmm, doesn't seem like we can stop the hitman from coming in, so in that case... Oh, I have an idea! Why don't we hide, Miss Camellia? Hide, huh? That sounds just like the kind of an idea a doggy would come up with. Are you making fun of me? But where could the little light lady hide in this room? Hmm, I think I have just the place. Underneath the couch. Uh, yep, under the couch. But there's just one little problem. How to get Miss Camellia in there, right? Exactly. If I could miss possess Camellia herself, answer would be easy. But that would be BS, now wouldn't it? But I can't do that, so the only thing is the leader there with the donuts, right? Yep. Now, what can I do using the objects in this room? Blah blah. And I'll be here watching, cheering you on. Well, you figured it out, but it's actually doing that in the hard part. Right, so. We can mess with the cart. Yeah! Right, so we can rock the bowl. That's right, grab it up. We don't mess with you, girl. She thought this was. Now the mouse has been up here over there. Okay. So the mouse is gonna. So are we playing with the star? Mm -hmm. Uh -oh. I don't know the ball's there. If you bark like that, how can anyone enjoy the pretty melody? And your poor mistress has got to get up and be quiet. Get up and quiet you down every time. Yes, I'm truly embarrassed by my own behavior. Hey, look at that. One of the ornaments fell off the tree. I'm not interested in things like that. I graduated from playing with balls a long time ago. You should try graduating from needless bark, uh, needless barking too. Sorry, that's just one thing I could never give up. So the ball. Can we? No, shoot! Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Right, so, oh wait, oh I remember. Oh. So does that mean we move the card as well? Again? No. Nope. That's not what we do. Oh, we're screwing with her, yeah. Wow, you're still gonna have to move back. I know. Yeah, yeah, take that. Take that, we're screwing with you. She thought. Thought this was a game. Okay, so. Are we screwing no. with the mouse again? Uh, nope. There's Maybe. only one. So let's see. Huh? I can't make another donut fall. Huh? What do we do now? Without that donut, the squeaky guy won't come. And I won't bark. Yep. And the barking part is your favorite, right? 
It looks like only one donut will fall. You only get one chance. I don't care. Right. So let's see. Can't reach anywhere over there. You can move me. on that spinning thing when it gets over to you. Say what? Like, look, what, what, what time? Uh, go normally again and then wait until that little reindeer thing is like near you when it swings right there. Oh, really? Yeah, you can get on that. But uh, you have to wait until it gets closer. Oh, wow. I think. Cecil away! Cecil away! Okay, so we got the floor lamp. Let's see. Let's knock this door open. Where'd the donuts go? I'm for fatty. <laughs> Alright, so let's play a trick. Knock the ball over there. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you sent that thing flying! What the? Okay. What am I doing? Stop! I'd like to tidy up by showing, shoving eyesores under the sofa. <laughs> hey, how come you're looking at me when you say that? Hey, wait a minute. Under the sofa? That might be the spot where the hitman wouldn't look. Come to think of it, Miss Camellia climbs under the sofa all the time. Trying to catch me. You're really a naughty doggy, aren't you? So my new plan is to hide the little lady under the sofa. The only problem is, now how do I lay Luther under there? Right. How do we lay her under there? There's that painting. Wait. I think I figured it out. I think yeah. I remembered how to do this now, yeah, I just... Useless to me. You may have to start back from the fate change again, because... Yeah, you need you needed that rat. Oh, we needed the rat? Shoot. Yeah, you, I think you had to hit, like, when... That pink rat showed up, I think you had to, like, smack it with the door. Oh, really? Oh! Yeah. Oh, you got So just it. don't play the star ornament so that it'll run away. Yeah. I got it. I just remembered. I was like, uh. Come on, hurry up, Camilla. Camilla. Wasting my life there. <laughs> You're wasting my life. Now get wrecked. Now I'm not. I think it, I mean, it sounds right. I'm not really sure, but what else do we have to lose right now? That's why get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Troll. Play a trick. Move that donut hole. Now let's play a ghost trick. Ah, hey, perfect diary. So. Let's see what happens. Come on. It's my friend. Gotcha. There you go. Yes, all now. What are you doing under here, you silly boy? Ah, oh, my little missile, you're always doing the cutest things. I think you're trying to save me or something. Ah, perfect. Convenient timing. Perfect. Nobody's here, eh? Missile, don't you dare. My prey is bound to come home sometime. I might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. Yeah, one step Ooh, ahead. Ooh, donuts! One step ahead, Tango. There. A little lady's fate has been averted. It has? The poor thing is still curled up there in a ball shaking with fear. Well, yeah, that's true. But that's not so bad. In the scheme of things, I'd say she's just fine. She's and still look, alive. You're not dead. Oh, you're right. We did it, didn't we? Didn't we? Yeah, we did it! 
To be surprised, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me, I saved Miss Camellia. Camellia, whatever. Yep. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? I don't get it. You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Sure, what is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently they're the power to ma manipulate inanimate objects. If they're ghost tricks, then can I do them too? I'm dead too after all. I guess. That's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now. But they won't budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? I don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. You don't have the power. He man, yeah. I have one thing to say to that. That's not fair! Sorry, but I guess not everyone who dies gets the powers of the dead. So what's gonna happen to me now? Nothing really. Your death's been erased. You're just going to be go back to being a happy little dog living your everyday life. So I guess this means goodbye. But we'll meet again sometime, right? No. Yeah, maybe you die again. What you did to me tonight? Is that my dad calling me again, Danny? I'll never forget it. <laughs> well, I guess we better be better be getting back to the present. I do present. Time to see what happens next in our story. And now a new present is born. The little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear. And the little doggy is wagging his tail happily. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. The phone. He's gonna be oh, one step right. ahead. What? Still the junkyard. All right, got it. I'm on my way. I guess my prey likes to play hide and seek. She hasn't had enough of that junkyard yet, apparently. Can't let nearsighted Jitty go beat me up this one. I'd better hurry. <laughs> that walk, though. Still not as cool as the Belmont strut. Nah, no one has enough tricks to pull off the Belmont strut. <laughs> I hate you! Go away! <laughs> just, just read the lines. Yeah, you got it right, Camellia. What was that all about? <laughs> you see, you did, you missile. I just know you did. Oh, God, God, God. Maybe I shouldn't answer it. But I'm compelled to. Why are you compelled to answer the phone? Just plot. Well, I think. Wait! There you go, there's your answer. Because it's me. Whoa, hold up. She has pink hair, just like Florina. Wow! Just realized- This is Florina! Also, you thought that one guy's chin was big. We're gonna be a character later. His chin surpasses that. His chin surpasses that? He has the mighty chin of justice? Yeah. There's that little doggy curled up on the floor. Dreaming away the life we worked so hard to get back to him. That's fine, but what's up with that core? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Ray taught me. So what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? 
I better try possessing him and see. Come on, I got you. Oh! Oh, it's you, isn't it? It's you. It's... hmm? Come on. Come to think of it, I've never did ask for your name. I guess it's good we ran into each other again, then. This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we shared together, the drama, that cheerful goodbye... I miss all. You know, it's strange. I wonder why you remember me now that you're alive again. Does that mean... Do you remember your time being dead? Of course, all of it. Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of the dead doesn't disappear. And the dead I met in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And if I possess that core, I can talk to that person? It looks that way, yes. Why then? You learn new things every day. Call from Luna. Sounds serious. I wonder what they're saying. I guess I'd better go possess that phone and listen in. Okay. Then. You talked with yourself? Now it's time for me to talk with myself. Yeah. Lynn in Florida. Camellia, oh, is you okay? Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me, you've gotta get out of there right now. Wait, is she a cop? I just yeah, noticed she's a their I just noticed their badge right there on their chest. Yep. But what about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while, and you might be in danger if you stay there too. But I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at that restaurant, the Chicken Kitchen on Dead End Drive. Dead End Drive? Yeah, I know. Dead End Drive. I don't know, that's pretty far. It sounds pretty dangerous. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring that, bring the music box with you, okay? Oh, the secret stash of money! Music box? I love music boxes. boxes. Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it just doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. Then you can't very well call it a music box then, can you? It's more like just a box. Just bring it, okay? It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I'm kind of hidden in that room you're in. Who the? Pigeon Man. What the? Excuse me. Rid! Oh, good God. Phone's Dang dead it. now. She screwed up the headphones again, too. Not, not again. again. Darn, I've dropped the phone in there, too. How about we tell her you did it, Missile? Again. Because, you know. <laughs> But I sure hope one's alright. I better get going. I know right where Dead End Drive is. But I never saw any music box around here. How am I, where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? Help me look, okay? Alright. I know where it is. I don't care. Okay. It's not even that hard to find, too. Well, I guess the phone's dead, too, now. What are the odds that would happen? Looks like our little lady's a bit of a klutz. The next thing you know, she'll be dropping that poor little doggy in the tank. Anyway, something's happening to Lynn. I better help Camellia find her treasure. Hmm, I don't know if it's because I lost my memory or what. But I don't seem to remember what a music box is, really. He doesn't remember a lot of things. Really? Alright then. Alright then. Alright then. Right, 
So we gotta assist Lil Florina. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, I, I see wonder. it. Yeah, no, it's right there. Yeah, that's why I said it wasn't hard to find. I'm like, uh, yeah, it's the okay, only core so that's by itself. So it can rotate faster. Did that bend it? Uh, yeah, it why? did. Boss mode. Shoot, the timing is so weird, though. About a week ago. And that was easy. And bam. That wooden box that just fell. That just might be the music box we're looking for. I bet the lady will know it when she sees it. We're really close now. Now I gotta get back over there. But that's gonna be really weird because... Now, shoot, I can't even reach it. But alright, let's rotate it slower. Now reach! Reach! Alright then. Come on! Go to the music box! Dang it. I can't go to the music box, this is so weird. Play the star thing. Okay. Sissel will play the star. Huh? The lady didn't bang on the wind- the wall. Weird. That's it! The music box! Good job, Lorna! Yay! Da -da -da -da. But she just God, put it no in her dress! She just put it in her dress! Don't you touch a missile. What? If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. Hey, to find you flat the that wall and stuff like that came off. She just put it in her dress! How do you do that? She has an inventory. Okay, I'm leaving down this one. That is so weird. I have to help, I have to help go help a She's like a sister to me, you know? It'd be good while I'm gone a long way. But no bargain. Too late. You've already failed. Good job. Still no peace for the little lady. And the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now. Meanwhile, I'm a bit of I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in the apartment. Too bad I can't just curl up and go to sleep with my tail wagging too. But there is something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? Well, all right. That's the end. That ends another chapter of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. We're going to take another short break, and we'll return. Yeah, Ghost Trick. Yeah. Yeah.